Hello, my name is David Barnes, and this is ET Info, where I bring you information on new and emerging technologies from IBM. Recently, I had an opportunity to sit down with Rod Smith, IBM Vice President of Emerging Technologies, and my boss, and he told me about a new project his team is working on called Big Sheets. So I'm here with Rod Smith, Vice President of IBM Emerging Technologies and IBM Fellow. Rod, thanks again for joining me. Thanks for having me. So, hey, I know your team is off on a new project, we Big are. Sheets. Mm -hmm. In 30 words or less, this is going to be hard, in 30 words or <laughs> less, how do you sum up Big Sheets? Um, the way we talk about it is Big Sheets is uh, an insight engine um, for line of business professionals that allows you to really get insights from web scale data. Wow. First of all, I like the, the insight engine. That's pretty cool because I hadn't heard it before. Mm -hmm. And web scale data, you're talking about really, really big. Uh, absolutely. What you're seeing today is the web is you know, exploding is with data. And people want to be able to harvest that data and be able to explore it, be able to get insights from it. And we're talking, you know, petabytes, terabytes, exabytes of data. And before this, you thought about personal computing. You know, you could analyze certain things on spreadsheets and others. But now, um, how do I get in, in timely manners use of all this information that's on the web? Wow. So, so I know we just talked about terabytes, petabytes, exabytes. But what we're really saying is millions, even billions of documents. Yeah, absolutely. And if you think about things like governments, you know, you want to go back and uh, people are looking at documents for maybe, you know, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years on medicine, on different types of, uh, you know, health care or other things. And now you can do those types of things or are hoping you're going to be able to do those things with big sheets. Wow, that, that sort of puts it into perspective when we say big data. So I know that your team and you as an IBM fellow, you look at what's happening in the industry, in business, with technology, and then you set out on a project. So why Big Sheets? Well, one was that customers kept telling us they had this desire and need to get to web data, all this unstructured information. And two is that there was technology on the horizon. Uh, Hadoop is one of the projects in, in Apache um, based on how Google does a lot of their uh, collecting of information that really kind of came together to say we could probably help customers uh, crawl for information, explore that information at a fraction of the cost that they do today. Okay, so, so one, big data. We got more data than we've ever seen before, and it's not slowing down. No. Nope. It's continuing to grow. And for those that don't know Hadoop, you really be interested in it. Uh, you don't have to deal with it with, with Big Sheets, but it is an engine that can literally handle thousands and thousands of processors inexpensively working together. Absolutely. And one of the value points we like in Big Sheets is an application on top. And, uh, you know, the metaphor we used is really looking at who the professional is that can use this, not necessarily someone who's a programmer. And so... Uh, we're very uh, thankful for the Hadoop project, and we hope to you know to build on top of that to make it available to more and more people. Yeah, so so the infrastructure is there with Hadoop and other things you talked about, but I don't have to deal with that, which leads me to the question: Why the name Big Sheets? Um, as we talk to customers, they started to kind of lay out what they wanted to do with information, and the more we listened to them, the more we heard kind of uh, the spreadsheet metaphor. And uh, so, you know, you start thinking about it, you know, big data, I need big worksheets. And so what we did was name the project Big Sheets and really aim for the fact that people can use a spreadsheet metaphor in a browser right. to go leverage, you know, millions and millions of rows in a table type of structure to, to work with. Uh, so this is, this is, I mean, the spreadsheet changed everything in the mm -hmm. 80s, but mm -hmm. it was me and my diskette. That's right. And my PC. And now you're talking about a web browser but you're talking about massive amounts of information, but use it the same way. Yeah, and diskettes are something only you and I would understand. Uh, the rest of the world now goes to the web. All that information, as easy it was to get to small devices, now is available on the web. A URL can get you oh. to 
information that was almost impossible to get to three, five years ago. And by the way, with the diskette reference, you know that being the editor of the video, I can make the silver come out of my hair in post-production. <laughs> So, Give me a tan as well. So no, you're just beautiful. <laughs> so so now, you know, we we said why big sheets, but what differentiates this from other analytical tools? Um, two things. First one is right now we're working with lots of unstructured information, and there's lots of interesting insights in there. Um, it takes some work to get it out, and and Hadoop, as we mentioned before, helps us do that. So one. Huge amounts of unstructured, eclipsing structured information by orders of magnitude. Second one is, I think the metaphor we're using, if you think about spreadsheets, is, uh, uh, I think, unique. And using that and tailoring it towards particular business patterns. So think about uh, pharmaceutical clinical trials or mergers and acquisitions or retail. So different from kind of general analytic tools, we're really trying to focus on the business patterns of particular audiences. Okay. And so you actually answered a couple of my questions there. One, you said structured or unstructured. Mm -hmm. And by the way, as a translator from the technical people, in other words, databases that exist or massive amounts of unstructured information, which is what the web has become, right? With mm -hmm. blogs and wikis and text messaging and all of that information that's continuing to grow. Mm -hmm. But you also mentioned a lot of different business scenarios, different companies, different ways of using it. So how about, I know that there's one that you've created already with your team around mergers and acquisitions. Mm -hmm. How about if we cut this short, we put it out on the tube, <laughs> and then we come back and let's take a deeper look at that one into a demonstration. Sounds like a plan. Terrific. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to learn more about Big Sheets, you can visit our website, for our Jumpstart team, also part of Rod's organization, and that's ibm.com slash software slash jstart.